feel your mercy washing over me as I step through this door and see your face. Music for me is a huge part of my spirituality. Oftentimes when I pray, when I think of God, when I need God, I find music, I find melody, I find just a tune echoing and reverberating through my soul. And it's what helps me to meet Him. Your love is tender, mercy runs deep. Lord, I surrender, take all of me. I love you. I have been a faithful Catholic for most of my life. I have been so blessed to see the way that God provides for me. To little things, like I was cold in the chapel and a nun offered me her coat without me even asking. And I just knew that that was God being chivalrous, <laughs> that He was being a good Father and trying to keep me warm so that I could focus on Him in my prayers. I was running late for the bus and I prayed, God, just let the bus be like two minutes late so that I don't miss it. I really need to get on this bus. And the bus was late and I was like, thanks. Thanks for holding that, Jesus. <laughs> um, there's so many ways that God provides for us and it's such a blessing when we can recognize those everyday moments where God is really loving us and caring for us. washing over me As I step through this door and see your face Something in your gaze washes over me I find peace in this place mm -hmm. I find peace There was a period in, in my life of about six to eight months where I walked away from my faith I was living with my boyfriend in Los Angeles, and um, I knew that it wasn't what God wanted for me, that I was living in sin, and so I felt unworthy. I felt like I didn't deserve to pray to God. Like I didn't deserve to even say grace before meals, that if I was in trouble, I couldn't ask Him because who was I to ask God? Why would He want to give me anything when I was slapping Him in the face, when I was holding the whip that whipped Him, when I was pressing the crowns into His, the crown of thorns into His head? Who was I to ask Him for anything when I was choosing to live in a way that I knew was not of God? And so little by little, I stepped away further and further from my faith. And for the first time in my life, I stopped even going to church <laughs> on Sundays. And my sister-in-laws are, are Christian, and I remember being on a camping trip with them, and they were saying, I just feel like God is telling me this, and you know, He's really putting this on my heart. And I was like, ugh, put it away. Like, I don't want to hear about God. I believed that God existed, I just didn't care. At the time, I was working in network radio sales at uh, Cumulus, and I remember being in my cubicle, and I was stressed out about money. I didn't know what I was going to do, how I was going to pay my bills, and I got up from my desk, and I was walking to the water cooler, <laughs> and I had just received my paycheck. And I, I had opened it, and I had re I'd gotten a bonus in my paycheck that was more than enough to cover all my bills. I wasn't expecting the bonus, and I knew that it was God. And as I walked from my desk to the water cooler, I talked to God, maybe for the first time in months, and I remember just saying, thank you for loving me enough to provide for me when I have my back turned to you and no intention to change that. He loved me regardless of who I was, of where I was, the choices I was making. He saw where I was and he met me there. Eventually my uh, boyfriend noticed a change in me and suggested that I go back to church. And after a few weeks, I finally said, okay, well, this woman at church always talks about St. Monica's 
maybe I'll go there. And um, I went and I hated it, but I went back the next week. And fortunately, good habits die hard. And they had a ministry fair and I signed up for gospel choir and uh, confirmation ministry, teen confirmation ministry. And little by little, as I began to minister, God worked his way back into my heart. I felt so false for a while, talking to these teens and telling them about God and all the stuff that I wasn't even really buying into myself. But God used that. By the end of that first year of confirmation, I went to confession with the teens and was free again. God loves us no matter what, and He knows the story of our lives before it unfolds. All we have to do is be willing to turn to Him. Your love is tender, mercy runs deep. Lord, I surrender, take all of me, I love you.